Hello, you lovely lot. Say hello, Ben. Hello. Now, Jamie and Barry are away on a couples weekend. So this fridge cam is ours. Sorry for some. So Ben, what was number one on our fridge cam agenda? Number one was a big thanks to these guys and everyone who's voted for us for the British Cookery School Awards. Um, for those who haven't and think we might be deserved, please go and tweet yeah. hashtag BCSA People's Choice. We need you, we need you. Speaking of competitions, on Friday we launched a video where you can win our new cookbook. There's a rather special advert for the book as well in that, so definitely check that out down here. The Olympics has obviously come to an end here in London, but before before it all finished and before all our YouTube friends headed home, Team USA invited us to see them at their Olympic house. They say that an army walks on its stomach and with the US leading the way in the medal table, they've pretty much got it down with military precision. Uh, we've been invited to USA house to have a look around and see behind the scenes as to where the athletes and their friends and family are being fed. Introduced to Mark, who heads up the catering here, and Chef Marco, the head chef himself, explaining some of the phenomenal food they're putting out here. 1,200 to 1,500 dishes a day. It's incredible. It's a lot of mouths to feed. Three and a half kilos of chocolate just for a chocolate mousse. And it was a damn good chocolate it's mousse. It's a really good chocolate mousse. Mm. Jamie doesn't share food. Get your own. The athletes and their families, friends, delegates from the US have been here for such a long time. They've really mashed the food together, so they've got some real American home comforts that we have incorporated. Um, things like you know, chicken wings and uh, pizzas and, bur and burgers, obviously, as well. They've been very popular. But at the same time, we're also trying to integrate a, li a little bit of London into the menu as well. So roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, to try and kind of you know, add a little bit of the home taste as well. We were given a tour of the kitchen, so we can see behind the scenes where it's all happening. I mean, the kitchen is really the hub of the USA house. The chefs are in there working from the crack of dawn right the way through to the early hours, churning out plates and plates of food. Chef Marco told us that the most popular dish was the mini burgers. They're churning out nearly 1,200 of those a day. <laughs> I can't so eat that much. Not even you can eat that much. So all in all, a great chance to see behind the scenes a day in the life of the team here at USA House. So thank you very much to Team USA for letting us explore and even eat some of their food. And uh, we'll beat you next time. <laughs> Ah, oh, God bless Americans. <laughs> Talking of our American YouTube friends, two of them came down to visit us uh, last week. We had Hannah Hart, yep. you may have seen the quiz cup we did with her, and Wheezy Waiter, he came to try and cook up something some as whale bait. bait. Mm. Uh, but while they were here, we challenged them to some food-based challenges, ones that you guys suggested a few weeks ago in Fridge Camp. The following challenges are not for the faint-hearted, they're quite extreme. I'm Hannah Hart, and I love a challenge. Remove the towel. Okay. This is super awesome, amazing super. Did we say super? Totally wicked incredible. Pasta sorting challenge. I must divide the pasta in different colors. Good, good, blah, blah. All you have to do is hold out in front of you for as long as possible. This is fun. This challenge sucks. Oh! That was my impression of Hannah. That's heavier than it looks. Pasta, pasta. Boo, boo. Fight it. Pasta, pasta. That's how I actually just wake myself up every day. I would prefer the food challenge to be Hannah, eat as many tasty pies as you can. This is compelling stuff. And I'd be like, all right, I love a tasty pie. Barry? Okay, that's enough. Whew. I would have preferred the uh, challenge of do your best pronunciation of English foods. Try cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber sandwiches. Sausages. Sausages. Bacon. Bacon. Fire. At the hot dog. At distance. Go. <laughs> because I was so good, they're giving me another challenge. The fools. Oh god. I have to beat it until I can put it over my head. <laughs> Chin. It's the final countdown. Bow, 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 bow. Can I tag in? Uh. Done. Meow, 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 Got the clock. One minute. What's my time? Did I win? Did I win? Ta-da! That's not bad. I'll take it. What flag is this? <laughs> Ireland? Mexico? Uh, is that good? Italy. Yay! And now, just to show you that I don't give a f Wow. Now, Ben, tell me about what's been on the website this week. Uh, we've been out to try and impress. So we've got chicken ballotine, 
mm. beef wellington and sticky maple duck. And they work a treat. We had some sweet dishes as well, a raspberry milkshake oh, and a nice. cafe latte creme caramel. We also finished off with our chicken satay. Remember, that's where the competition lies and our Bloody Mary soup. Don't say that three times into a mirror. Shut up. So a whole week of recipes. Also a big thanks to those of you who came down and saw us at Summer in the City yes. this weekend. It was um, lovely to meet you. We've yeah. got to head off, lots to do, but we will see you back in the fridge, same time, same place, Cheerio. next week. <laughs>